Hey, Arturo. What's in this? Thank you very much. I owe you one year life saver. Yeah, you know, you know, this could just be somebody playing with you. No, it could be the real killer, or it could be somebody who knows who the real killer is. Either way, I have to check it out. Yeah, I'll see what I come up with. Oh, I owe you a big one. Okay. Yeah, you owe me more than one, all right? I'll just call me if you hear anything. Yeah, all right, don't worry about it, man. I'm on it. All right, thank you. All right. So, I hear you're back at the big house. What are you drinking, Gus? Is that how you treat all your customers? Nope, just you. Mm. Well, I figured since we're in the same boat, you know, misery. Misery likes company. You figured wrong. I moved back into the house, too. Isn't that cozy? What'd you cut with the chit chat? What do you want from me? I just thought that, you know, for once we had something in common. Mm hmm. My husband slept with your girlfriend. That's something. <laughs> something I like to forget. I just thought that since we're in the same house and everything, you know, we could watch each other's back just a little bit. I'll watch my own back. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to be nice. People are only nice when they want something. Whoa, listen to you. Listen to you. This is about Harley. Everything for you is about Harley. Harley's in jail. I'm sure you blame me for putting her there. Well, you did help blow my case. Why did you do that, by the way? Doesn't matter at this point, Gus. No, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm sure you are. The Carly is gone. Bill probably is too. Life goes on. Mm. Life just goes on, huh? So you wash your hands of it. Fill up the murder of your husband, Bill. Why not? It's getting awful chilly in here. What'd you expect to happen, Gus? You'd waltz in here, we'd have a couple of drinks and become the best of friends? Nah, I just thought it would be good to have an ally in the old big Spalding mansion. Well, you don't want allies, you want suspects. You're on your one-man quest to save Harley. Oh, I told you, she is in jail. You know what, I can read between the lines, you're just feeling guilty. Guilty? Look, uh, am I feeling bad she's in jail? Yes. Did I want her there? Of course not. I'm off the case, though. It yeah. is over uh, Stop it. I'm not buying your act. I'm not acting. What are you talking about? I'm trying to move on with my life here. Why do you think I moved back into the house in the first know, place? I don't know, Gus. You tell me. Didn't I just tell you? I'm don't. Sorry. I will not be your scapegoat. Hey, what are you, just feeling guilty that you ruined her life, huh? You drove your husband into her bed? You know what, just leave me problem? alone! Leave me alone! Working on a new acquisition? Went a couple of rounds with your wife. I think maybe I'm a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I guess you are. But she is special, isn't she? Special lady. I'm surprised that you lasted as long as you did. You know, trash and Olivia is not gonna make us good buddies. Mm. We loved each other. Oh, you loved each other. See, because I thought it was like an arrangement of some sort. Well, at first, maybe it was. Doesn't really matter, though, as long as you parted ways with my girl. Oh, my goodness. Harley had her reasons for doing right. what she you did. You, Bill, are yes. completely innocent in the whole thing, right? You know what? I came here to unwind. So if you don't mind, I don't need this right but now. But I, I, don't, I don't need it. Gus. Olivia, how did that? How did she seem? So Olivia's having nightmares about Philip? Well, like I said, you really got to her. But your whole damn family really gets to her. I thought you'd get it. No, I get it. The part that I don't get is why you keep defending her. If Olivia always gets the bum rap. I just think you should hear another side of it, that's all. How is she now? I mean, it, she's still having these nightmares. Well, she was when we were together. And they were freaking her out. Something about Philip coming after her, a hand coming up out of the grave. Well, that's understandable. Just don't say anything about her, right? No, I would never. Good. Will you go ahead and you wring your hands? You cry over this horrible thing, but as for me, I hope he dies. 
You had it coming, you son of a bitch! When do I 